Broiler production has been the main focus of the Light Town Agricultural Cooperative Society. More details from Renetta Court. The Lightung Agriculture Cooperative Society was set up in January of 2018 by the International Decade for People of African Descent Guyana, whereby youths in the community would be given an opportunity to make an honest living. Chairman of the society in an interview with this newscast shared more details. My name is Caroline Rahman, the chairman of Lightung Agriculture Cooperative Society Limited. It started off with 150 mid-birds, really we rear 800 birds and we sell at 170 to 150 a pound life weight. This project was funded which the international decades help us with the pen, the equipment to, to rear the chicken, feed, office and storeroom. A freezer also was funded by them. What we do as we get work, we give the youths opportunity because mainly we're focusing on youths. We give them the opportunity to come in. We ask them if they want a day job. We give them a day job to clean the pen or maybe help us feed the chicken or any construction work that we have to do. We employ villagers and the youths in our community so that we can help them. The society presently has seven members, but there is still space for more. If you want to become a member, you have to be of the age of from 16 up. There is no mainly price to anything. You just have to get your photocopy ID card. And that's basically just it. As long as you qualify for the age and willing to work and cooperate with the rules of the organization, you will be recommended to join us. She further went on to state, We don't have much mortality because we mainly grow on organic chickens. We don't use much drugs or anything or such. Any mortality is maybe when them now come and small as baby chicks. You know, sometimes when them get squeezed or anything of such, but... Every death, we don't really witness or go through that. Caroline also shared some procedures they observe to ensure that the chickens are safe and healthy. We um, take out the shavings and then we wash with um, fabuloso different detergents that will help to sanitize the pen. We wash it thoroughly before replacing chicken. As you can see presently we out of birds. That is because we are resting. We started in 2018 and never ended raising chicken until now. So that the pen could rest and we could do the sanitation before starting again. So when do you expect to get the next set We will get the next set of birds as soon as the corona disease or virus deteriorate to a lower level. When asked about marketing, she gave these comments. Presently, right now, marketing is a kind of stress, but we have one buyer, Mr. Kit Myers, that owned the meat center in, I think that is Sanford, or to the post office, Carno. Yes, only he does purchase with chicken right now, and we just go about looking for other market around in the area. We also assist in school programs, such from the Lighton Primary School. We have a primary and a nursery school in one. So if there is any party, graduation and so on, our co-op donates chicken or give amperes or whatever to the school. She later remarked, Mainly the two challenges that, that bother us the most is the feed, the supply of feed, the price range for feed and the marketing for get the chicken sales after the raising of them. The co-op is also hoping to get more investors so that their business can be developed. If someone wants to put in a donation to us, presently right now, we have an other pen at the back starting up. We're trying to do layers, but when we think about the layers, it's very expensive to rear them because of the feed status. So I think if, that, if there is anybody that wants to give donation, we would like to have a drip system, a watering system for our chicken. We will appreciate if we can get an extension of pen or anything for meat purposes because 
I mean, yeah, we might be getting market now, but chicken is something very needed in the community, in the regions, in different, different places that we can supply them healthy chicken. So mainly I will appreciate if we get a solar system for our pen and also the drip system, water system and any improvement or any other thing that could help us, especially marketing. Caroline also shared some advice for budding entrepreneurs. I would mainly say it's all about keeping yourself focused because I am only 25 years old right now and I have started this when I was just 24 and it has been challenging because you have to deal with members, you have to deal with society, you have to deal with a lot of things. There are a lot of pre-pressure out there that people want to try to discourage you and make you not go on but Build yourself momentum and be who you want to be and do what you want to do. In that way you will achieve everything that you want to achieve. And when it comes to rearing or doing anything concerning farming or livestock, you have to like it. Whatever you choose to do, you have to like it and have a passion to doing it. I will also like to say to the international decades, the people of African descent Guyana, Assembly Guyana, are very, very thank you for helping us in this community. And... A lot of shout out to you guys because you have been and changed our life a lot. Reporting for Channel 8 News, Renetta Kurt.